What's up? How y'all doing? It's Jared. It's a BRS replicant. It's all ripped down here, right? I was going to install this pocket clip. I actually bought from BRS. You can see the little sticker here. Pocket clip, assembly, new, see, new item, all of that. Ordered that one off of, I believe, I got that one actually off of Amazon. And so I'm ripping this knife down, and I actually had a problem with the safe handle pivot, right? Because I can't actually get the safe handle pivot out. It's just locked up. I can't force it out of there, right? And so I'm going to need to bring out a hammer and, you know, a, a punch to actually get that pivot out because there's so much Loctite spread around in this pivot area that it got into there and actually seized that up, okay? You know, whatever that happens on a lot of knives, I'm not going to complain about that. What I really want to complain about is the fact that I got this thing completely ripped apart and you've got to replace the the actual little standoffs, you know, because this is the, the actual pin that is in its stock and then this is the pin that comes with it uh, you know with the actual pocket clip you've got to install this little plate all of that but the way that this sh well first off okay first off first things i pull this out of the box and i notice this little scuff on it and you can actually see right there that that's a little indented mark that came out that it just wasn't finished from the factory this part wasn't flat and so the actual finishing didn't get down into that little groove. And so there's a little dent right there on the pocket clip, brand new out of box, right? So, okay, that's kind of shitty, whatever, you know, it's, it's not like this was a $25 freaking part. It was, it was $25. And then I come to the back here, right? And I'm going to install this thing. So I'm like, okay, I got to put these little plungers in and then set it up, whatever I got to do. And it fits in there just fine. That one fits in there. But they actually bent it on the hole. You can see this. You can see how it's bent on the hole for that second one there. This thing doesn't fit. You can see that? You can see how much that hole is actually bent over there. There's that little lip, that little sharp edge right there that's created because it's bent on the actual lip. I can't even use this. I'm going to have to file that down. I am. I'm going to figure out a way to do it and actually file down the inside of there so I can actually fit this thing through because I'm just too damn lazy to wait two weeks until they can actually ship me out another one. But this is ridiculous. I mean... That, that kind of, I mean, what is that? You know, the, like, you know, I understand you needing to get a bunch of parts out onto the market, small company, whatever, but come on, guys, this is just ridiculous. All you got to do is make the bend in the right place. This is, it was mis machine. You know I mean, this thing was actually misdone from the factory, which just kind of upsets me. And now I just wanted to complain about that as well as I just picked this one up, right? This is a Browse Blades B3, okay? And I'm going to be on the phone with Browse Blades over this one. This is a beautiful knife, isn't it? I actually really like this color. I didn't like the color as much online in a lot of the photos that I saw, but I kind of really love this just mustard yellow handles. I actually really like it. And I'm, it's it's not the fact that the, the, the latch has problems. I'm going to get into that. The overall ballet song has problems. You know, the, the pocket clip is on the safe handle for some strange reason just because brass got to be different, right? Look at that blade centering. Look at that centering. And this is as loose as it can get because if I tighten this any more, if I actually tighten up that pivot any more than it is right now, let me bring this thing in here, right? So if I tighten up this pivot, I need a Torx 8. So if I tighten up this pivot any more, It'll help that blade centering, right? It'll actually help the blade centering out so it's sitting just a little bit further into the middle. Just a little bit further into the middle. But, look at that. The handle, it doesn't move. It's stiff. Look at that. It's just seized. And so when I actually do loosen it up to the point where it moves, and it's actually kind of free-floating, I don't know if you can see that there, kind of moves a little bit by itself and then it actually goes far enough over where it will collide with the side of that and this is a it has a black coating on the blade and so i'm just gonna beat up the black coating on this blade as it smacks into the side of this handle every single time i close this knife i can't even flip this knife because it's so far off that just freaking kills me on the fact that i just paid almost 300 dollars for this knife and I mean, I did pay over, you know, overpay. I know that you can get them for about 220 right now online, but look at that. Look at that. It's ridiculous. I'm just so, I'm mad about that one. I'm having a lot of problems with ballet songs recently. Give me a minute. Okay, so I've got an idea, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spike. This is a old trade, uh, trade old timers golden spike, right? I'll take this little plank of wood right here. 
see if I can slide all this over for a minute. I don't know if this is actually going to work, but I'm going to take this little plank of wood and find a hole that's actually deep enough. That one will work right there. Let's see. See that? This is steel. And this is titanium. So the thought process is, is if I jam this thing in this hole, hard as frick, I can actually probably, if I can get the thing off. Yeah, you see that? That looks promising. Now, I'm going to take my little pin and see if it'll fit. Ah ha ha! Check that out. Yeah. Yeah. So, I did. I opened that hole up so that now this will actually fit. It'll mount onto there. So, what I'm going to do... No, that's not the right size. I need the other long one. Where's the other long one at? That's not the other long one. Give me a second. Losing stuff all over the place, right? There's the other long one. So I'm going to put those on there. I'm going to slide my little extender plate. Okay, and this. Alright, so now i got to figure out which side of the belly song. This is going to be the back hand, back side of the belly song, back side handle. See if I can thread both of these pins through. If they actually want to go through. One and two. Bam. Alright. Got that in there. So once that actually sits flush, that'll be alright. Except for the fact of how far it's sitting off. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> what's if you don't understand what i'm laughing at it's that it's the the tension on that pocket clip that's kind of ridiculous if it's gonna sit flush like that is that what this little plate's for it's got to be what this little plate's for let's see so if i take this off actually well if i can actually pull the damn thing off if i take the little plate out let me thread these things through here yeah, that doesn't work because it just doesn't quite fit down inside the G10 and protrudes off even more. So I'm pretty sure this little plate here is to extend it out, right? That's got to be what that's for. So what I'm going to do is to just make sure of this. I'm going to lay all this back down, put my backspace around here. Ah. I don't actually need to attach the put the latch on right now just because I just want to check fitment. Let's see if this fits. Yeah, I mean that's that's right. You see how they're protruding just a little tiny bit? One side more than the other? That's just because it's being held up by the actual pocket clip there. Alright. Says it's misdesigned again, but that'll work. And so yeah, that's sitting just the way it should be so what I've got to do before I actually assemble this thing pull this that's one thing I'll give BRS man is their tolerances look at that that's like solid it's on there now I gotta work it off just to actually get it off of that tang pin their the tolerances in this thing are tight it is not exactly like easy to work with you I mean just because these pieces they're all really they're, they're tight right so, I'm going to take all these little pieces out. Give me one moment. Got my little rag here. Had to get a non-marring, something that, that wouldn't scratch up this pocket clip. Because I'm going to take it and put it in my little rag. And grab onto it. And readjust it here. Let's see if I can just take it down just a little bit, right? That should be... A little bit better. I just bent it down a crap load, so if that doesn't help, this is some soft titanium. Bending down a Chris Reeves pocket clip or like a Benchmade pocket clip, Benchmade Anthem pocket clip probably took fucking 500 times more pressure. However, this is stamped and that's 3D milled, so that's kind of a pointless thought process. You see there, I still need to take it down. Ah, uh, well, yeah, see, once it's sitting flush, I'm going to push it as hard as I can on the back to simulate screws actually being pressed in there. 
it's got to come down just a little bit more. Grab my rag. I don't know why I'm so worried about scratching this titanium when it came out of the box with a big ass dent in it. Dent on it. See, I want to angle it so that the bend is on the bend because I don't want to bend down here at the tip because then you might actually put a bend in the, the, the line of the pocket clip. You want to keep it at that back section. So try to put most of the, the actual torsional stress right there on that back corner. So now let's see. Look at that. That's got, that's ridiculous, okay? Now let's see if, maybe if I'd have bent this thing to fit, I wouldn't have need, needed to widen that hole. Yeah, okay. You see? And now I'm over. I'm over tensioned a little bit. So, got to come back out. I'm going to make this thing fit come back to you. Yeah, see? It's flush up against the scale, and that back section there is actually, st it's still hovering. I don't know if you can actually see it. It's hovering just like a fraction of a millimeter, right? And that's actually going to give me proper tension so that when I screw it down, the pocket clip will be tight actually up against that scale. So it gives me just a little bit of extra tension on the pocket clip actually in my pocket itself. So now I'm just going to reassemble the rest of the knife. Stick a little backspacer on there, get my little pin for the latch. Look at how tiny that thing is. Look at how intricate the milling is on that little part right there. You wonder why these knives are expensive? Stuff like that. Stick that in there. Get my scale. sure everything's sitting flush, sitting tight, looks good, latch looks good, everything else looks good, slide my little top scale back on there, she got to line up those pivots, and I got to hold these back pivots in, otherwise they'll be sliding out on me, so I'm going to take my bottom screw, you can see I've got the screws lined up, bottom screw, second screw, tang pin, just because I like to keep them like that. Oh, thread it in nicely. just a little bit loose looks good sticking off quite a bit quite a bit off of there but looks decent I can definitely feel it it'll give me another indication on where I'm sitting well, I'm actually flipping this thing I'll slide my little bushing in there. That bushing is, <laughs> I don't think actually functions as a bushing. <laughs> I don't think it does anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that bushing actually doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's just not, yeah, it doesn't seem like it would. <laughs> It's not protruding on either side of the blade, tang of the blade. So what I'm going to do is put my pivot in there just a tiny, tiny little bit, right? Less than that, less than that. Sit it in there just like that. Hold it in. I'm going to take my bottom washer, put it on there, and I want it just level. Just level. So that way the pivot will actually hold that bottom washer in place while I... Slide on the blade. Slide that blade in. Stick it through. That was too far. Because I don't actually want to put it all the way through just. 
enough to hold it just into the blade. Right. That pivot's actually sitting through into the blade. It'll hold it on there. It's going to, ah, I just pushed it back through. But it's going to hold it all together so that you can actually finagle the next little washer. Now, if I can push that pivot out. Go back down, man. Come on. Work with me here. Pull it out, see? Doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to slide my washer in there. Line it up. Line that washer up. Push the pivot the rest of the way through. Well, take my Torx 10. That's as much as it will let me thread onto the pivot. <laughs> so I'm going to take my other. I didn't actually wind up taking the safe handle off because I can't get that pivot out, which is a pain. That thing not quite tight, just just sitting in there, you know, all the way down. Oh, see, I can throw that one most of the way in. Still sitting loose, so I want to give a little bit of tension to the system here, so that I can actually put this screw the rest of the way in there, all the way tight, as tight as it'll go. Do the same thing to this side, as tight as they will go, and then back it off, back it off, check if it floats, yep, definitely moves well. It's moving, and blade play. Uh, see, I've got a little bit of blade play, so is it the bite handle? Nope, it's a safe handle. See, a little bit of rattle? Is there any rattle on the bite handle? A little bit of rattle on both, so keep going. Tight, tight, there's a little bit of rattle on, I think it's the safe handle, a little bit on the safe handle, bite handle solid, so a little bit more torsion on the safe handle, barely any play, and yep, back in motion, got a pocket clip on it. Not bad. Check blade centering. If I can actually get this thing to focus. Yeah, it's still sitting loose. It's still loose. Let me tighten it up some more. It's too tight. And that's one thing with the bushing system. If that bushing was actually doing something, I should be able to tighten this thing up as tight as it'll possibly go and still have it be free floating, right? I shouldn't be able to over tighten it and have it stall the blade out if that bushing system was actually doing anything in there. So I think it's just a valiant attempt at actually making that thing work. Well, not a valiant attempt. It was an attempt. If it was a valiant attempt, they probably would have succeeded. Everything's free floating. Looking good. Latch her up. And now I've got a pocket clip on my BRS replicant. Yeah. It is pretty dope that they come out with them. That was much more of a pain than it really should be. That was not a drop in part. I mean, it wasn't hard, but. There was a little bit of finagling required there, you know, that wasn't the easiest thing to do exactly, so. Definitely nice. Looks good, besides a big ding on it. Looks good. Let's wear it around for a little bit, see how it works. That's it, y'all have a good one.